So the first Ellie's and Charlotte's all in. We have room there for a few more. And now it's on to making new beds there. Been making some more potato beds. This one is too wet though. This one, I'm just gonna make some drills to plant in that. These are the ones that have already been planted. Making some more beds over this side. This is too wet. And I think I'm gonna plant some lettuce in there because it's in the shade of the shed. And might plant some potatoes in there today. Over here, look, I've just planted some sunflowers. They were all growing in the middle of one of those beds we just made. So I'm gonna give them a good water in and see how they get on. I haven't checked on my carrots yet that I sowed 10 days ago. Absolutely nothing out of the board. Let's check underneath. Uh, maybe something there. Nothing there. Uh, are they weeds or are they carrots? The garlic that uh, has been growing in my carrot bed from last year, seen as all my garlic at home little cloves are all sprouting I'm gonna pull one of these up there we go like a spring onion look and I'm gonna use that in a stir fry lovely lovely fresh garlic I thought I filmed this yesterday but obviously I didn't and um, so the first compost bin from last year emptied yesterday completely hauled over into this one it was really nice um, so we've added a load of the grass onto the top of it to try and get it all heated up again and going I think I got a still picture of it when we took the front off so I'll try and put that on and there is last year's compost that I am presently sifting to put on my beds Okay, down here the desire have gone in and we had room left at the end of these two rows so where the two sticks are there and there is where the desire are up to and in the other two rows we've got Mary's Piper and King Edwards and as always at the end of the rows because I've got so much spare sprouting garlic and planting the garlic, trying to keep the beasties away. 